Welcome back to Starting a Business Simplified. In this episode, I have a guest with me, Kimberly Board. She is a holistic practitioner that specializes in natural body-mind therapies. After decades of experience, she realized that unresolved trauma held in the body is often the root of disease. However, it isn't often addressed. Her clients began to have consistent radical breakthrough transformations when she shifted her work to a more integrated system that included somatic, energetic, and physical approaches, including natural hormone balancing techniques. Not only does she have all these wonderful talents and has been able to help so many people heal through their traumatic experiences, she's also a dear friend of mine and a partner in business. In this episode, she is going to share with you how she got started and the shifts and changes that have been happening in her life and in her business. She's a great example of how you can be a business owner for a really long time and things will shift unexpectedly and you'll have to figure out how to make changes. It's a beautiful way to see an example of how you can do that and navigate all the challenges that come up during that time. Hi, Kimberly. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me, Susie. Yeah. So I introduced you earlier before we got on. But I just would love for you to share your story in your own words, where you came from and and what you're doing now. Great. I'd be happy to. So I have been interested in holistic healing my whole life. I grew up with a mother who was a nurse, but also very interested in natural healing and natural therapies, so much so that she actually taught other nurses a form of energy healing, hands-on energy healing. So she would teach these classes out of my home. So when I was a little girl, I'd come home from school and there'd be people all over the living room floor and they were doing hands-on healing. (laughs) Back in the 70s and 80s, that was a little bit weird, woo-woo. So I was a little bit kind of embarrassed about that, but yet also fascinated and, and directly felt the result of energy healing. I knew I wanted to be in the healthcare field. I thought I wanted to be a physician, actually. So I started off actually as a as a massage therapist and body worker because I thought, oh, that's a great way to get myself through college. So I've actually practiced as a holistic practitioner since I was like 19 years old, doing body work and massage, all different types of modalities, including energy healing and was fascinated with nutrition and herbalism. So I studied nutrition and herbs and food as medicine. Became just my, you know, had my own business doing that as I went through college and thought I was going to go to medical school until I actually got to volunteer in a clinic and realized, oh, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. I didn't have the time to be with clients one-on-one the way that I thought that I would. And it was so focused on medication and less on nutrition and lifestyle, which was what I was really excited about. But the midwives that I worked with had an amazing job. They had time with their clients and they got to support their clients with lifestyle, nutrition. And I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. But I took a little different direction. I became a home birth midwife instead of a nurse midwife. I didn't want to work in the quote unquote system. I really wanted to be more independent and I didn't want to have the guidelines that the medical professionals have to adhere to. So I became a home birth midwife and I thought I would do that forever, forever and ever because I loved it so much. And then I got pregnant myself and had Everything that could go wrong with my pregnancy did go wrong. And I had a huge amount of trauma with the labor and delivery of my son. And after my delivery of my son, dealing with my own personal overwhelm and trauma, my ex-husband, who I didn't know at the time, was mentally ill and had his first psychotic break. So I had a huge amount of overwhelm and trauma and I didn't have the capacity to go back into the field that I loved so much and work as a midwife. I had to somehow figure out how to recover from 
the horrible trauma of delivery, deal with a very sick baby, a very sick husband, and pay all the bills. So I went into the corporate world and huge shifts in my reality. But I found a, a lovely company where I got to work as a health coach and support people with weight loss and healing their body with nutrition, which I had a great passion for. So I spent 12 years in the corporate world, not only coaching thousands and thousands of clients with lifestyle and nutrition, but I also got to train the health coaches that worked for this business that I, that I worked in. So I had 12 years of seeing day-to-day -day struggles with people as they work towards empowering themselves with healthier diet and lifestyle. And I found that many, many, many people that enrolled in the program had the, the intention of changing their diet and lifestyle to improve their health were not able to follow through with it. So what I knew from that 12 years and from my own personal experience that trauma can keep us from taking the actions that we want to take. Trauma can keep us from doing what our logical brain knows we need to do and what we want to do, but it's often unknown or misunderstood unresolved trauma that's literally held in the body and in the subconscious mind that keeps us from having the capacity to make change. So I left the corporate world and I went and I did some trauma, somatic trauma training. And I got two different certifications and different trauma modalities. And I went back into private practice, con combining my knowledge of nutrition and my knowledge of lifestyle and herbal medicine and body work and energy healing. And I combined the trauma work and that's where I met today. I specialize in helping people that have illness, mental or and or physical illness rooted in stress or trauma. Thank you so much for sharing that. I know you and I met earlier in the year and you have helped me along my healing journey through trauma. I love what you said that when things are rooted in trauma, we can't move forward. And that's such a big thing. And I, I share it on my podcast for the listeners out there, my journey. And Kimberly has been a key person in my own personal journey. You have heard me talk about transpersonal energy healing. That's what Kimberly does. Would you mind sharing a little bit more about what transpersonal energy healing is? Mm, I'd love to. So transpersonal meaning across the body. So the term transpersonal energy healing therapy, trans means across and personal. So across the person. So all the different aspects of us as a person. And we incorporate life force energy. So the whole person energy healing is a way to think about it. And I was first introduced to this modality by the creator of transpersonal energy healing. Her, her name is Laura Fine. And she was a person who was an absolute master at helping her clients access their own inner wisdom and their own inner healer. And when I first saw her do this work, I was just in awe. She was just so, it just seemed so simple and it was just so beautiful and brilliant. I said, oh my gosh, that's so much like what I do, but she's just this master at it. Like, how does she do that so easily and effortlessly? Anyway, I was so enthralled by watching her work that I ended up doing her program. She had a, a pretty intensive program where she trained practitioners how to use this system, Transpersonal Energy Healing, which is really mostly a dialogue process that may include things like breath work or movement or working with the subtle energy body, sometimes referred to as the chakras or the aura. And what I could see that she was doing was also a lot of nervous system regulation. So from a trauma therapist perspective, that's what I saw. And that's what I understood. 
but I, I ended up doing a lot of training in Laura's original school and it was called Lionheart. It was a brick and mortar school out in California. So I flew out there numerous times to get training with her. And I was able to incorporate this system of healing into my business, including the trauma recovery that I was doing. And I do somatic trauma recovery, which means body-based. Soma is body. So very body-based, like where is the energy, the charge of the past traumatic experience living in our body? And Laura's system helped me bring in some techniques to allow kind of the unwinding and the unfolding of the old patterns so that we can be relieved from the old patterns of stress and trauma that literally live within the body. So trauma really is just an, an experience where we felt overwhelmed. And many of us, most of us, in fact, as children had an experience of feeling overwhelmed at some point or another in our childhood. And being energetic beings, we find an energetic way to buffer ourselves from overwhelm. And I knew this as a trauma therapist, but what I learned from Laura was that there was real common patterns that we can get into to help us buffer overwhelm. So I was exposed to her way of healing the charge of the the energy charge of trauma and overwhelm in the body and i was able to then bring in some of my understanding from the neurological perspective of what trauma does to the body and we partnered up and we started training other practitioners together kind of bringing this somatic trauma therapy with the understanding of the nervous system in with her perspective of the energy system and we put those together and we train therapists, practitioners, health coaches, nutritionists, all different kinds of practitioners and healers on how to use this modality to help their clients get past the old trauma patterns, which usually show up as adults as self-sabotaging, unwanted behaviors that we can't quite stop, like I noticed with the clients that I worked with in the corporate world in the nutrition centers where these very highly intelligent people would come in and spend a lot of money on coaching to help them get better and all of their old patterns would self-sabotage them and they wouldn't get where they wanted to go. So long story short, Laura and I worked together for many years creating a program to help other therapists use this modality to help their clients rewire their system so that they could actually heal and take the actions that they wanted to take in the world that lead towards vibrant health versus that self-sabotage behavior that many of us are stuck in. I know I can relate to that. I, coming from a health coaching background and my own personal experience, and I know you and I have worked together I, I've worked with you on my own trauma that has happened in my life, and I share that as well on my podcast. You feel like you're hitting your head against a wall, like you just keep bumping up against the same wall when you don't know where it's coming from. And that's yeah. such a challenge for people. And I love that you and Laura work together to figure out, because I come from a medical background, and what really struck me when I started learning about this and working with you is the nervous system piece, mm. really understanding that our physical body is doing things that we can sense ourselves. I love to share personal stories. And you and I worked together on a pain that I was having in my side. <laughs> mm. And doctors could not find anything wrong with me for four years. I had my gallbladder removed. I did scans. I did nuclear scans. They, every, and I saw different doctors and I did endoscopy and I did colonoscopy and like all these physical things. But yet the pain was still there. Mm. And working together, I going through this process with you realized that the source of that pain was my body, the energy of my body telling me exactly what it was that it needed. Mm -hmm. like we can heal ourselves. And 
for those of you listening, my pain is gone. It's taken me several months working on it. It does come back every so often, but way, way less. It is something that I feel like when I started my coaching practices, when the pain started and what Mm -hmm. you and I worked on together, and I share this in my podcast, is my fear of speaking up and having situations that had happened to me as a child where I suppressed emotion and I didn't want to speak up. And there was a lot of things happening. And I think that my body knows when I started my own business, you're going to have to speak up and instantly went into that protection, that that safety Mm -hmm. zone. So I absolutely love what you're doing. So Kimberly, what are some, what's a way that, that you help to get the word out about what TEH is and how they help practitioners use this modality in their coaching practice? The best thing to do is to come to one of our workshops. We offer pretty regular workshops. I have one coming up called the Exceptional Practitioner, an introduction to transpersonal energy healing. And it's going to be an overview of the work itself. And I'm going to give you three things that you need to be an exceptional practitioner so that you really have some of the foundational understanding of transpersonal energy healing. And you're going to leave with what are the three things that I can focus on to be an even better practitioner? I love that. And when is the next workshop? The next workshop is June 24th. It's a Saturday morning and we'll have two hours of live connection where you can learn about what transpersonal energy healing is and we'll have live Q&A so that you can ask questions. And of course, we'll record it and we have ongoing workshops, but that is the one that's coming up next. Perfect. I will make sure that the link is in the show notes for anyone that wants to sign up. You and I have been working together in different capacities and I know there's different things are happening and there's a lot of changes coming up. So I would love for you to share what's going on now. Um, You and Laura worked together for many, many years. You and I met at a pretty significant time. Yeah, we sure did. So my mentor, colleague, friend, business partner, Laura, passed away recently and unexpectedly. And I was not only so devastated on a personal level, but she was a my business partner and we had so many things happening in the business, very exciting things happening. And so for her to have passed at such an interesting time in our business was was pretty challenging for me. And I had to really take a step back and look now, how do I move forward without my partner? And so so passionate about this work and getting these skills to other practitioners so that they can help their clients and and help themselves so that they can then help their clients. So I really needed to take a pretty huge pivot. It was an unexpected thing. And I I didn't want to lose the momentum that Laura and I had gained together creating this program that we have for practitioners. In fact, we had revamped the program that we had been teaching for years and we had done a started a beta launch and it was one of those things and i know that you and your other your listeners can relate to this that often you you start even before you're done with it right and you just start and you just figure it out as you go i met you susie and we really connected and um we we were communicating about what you know what she does and what i do and and you as you were telling me what you did i was like oh my students need that. Like I have so many students that are just starting a business. I'd been in business, you know, as a practitioner for 30 plus years and I had my own practice and I, you know, I, I, I had a business already. So I first, I didn't think that I needed Susie's expertise, but my students did. So I started going through your workbook and as I was doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a brand new business, but I need this because as I'm pivoting, not having a partner anymore, and now it's really all on me, I needed to go through almost all of the same steps that that I would have had to go through if I was starting a brand new business. So then I was like, Susie, I need you more. Like I realized this is a huge endeavor for me making this pivot from 
having a partner who was contributing a huge amount to the business to now having it all fall on my shoulders, but I, I'm not willing to give up the business because I'm so passionate about what we do. So now what, what do I do? And so your support has really helped guide me forward. Even though I've had the business for so long, I've really appreciated just going back to the basics, keeping it really simple. And with your help, Susie, I've been able to be really clear on what I am now without my business partner, keeping transpersonal energy healing as the foundation of the work that we do. But how do I now move forward on my own? And so your help, Susie, have, has really helped me be very, very, very clear, which is a lot of what your, your program does, is to, to help us get really, really clear and now I am, I have the clarity and the capacity to move forward without my business partner, which has been very uncomfortable and scary and sad at times, but also super exciting. And the exciting thing is now that I have decided to rebrand our business, my business now, and change the name and focus a little bit differently because it is a different business right? Without my business partner, now on my own, it is a different business. We're going to have a different name. However, its foundations is still in transpersonal energy healing that's created by my beloved partner, Laura, who I feel her with me every day. But we're moving forward with a new name. Our new name is called Somagetics. So that, it's so cool. I think it's a combination between Soma, the somatic trauma therapy from my background, and energetics, which is my partner's Laura's background with the energy system. So it's a body-based energy system of healing the often unconscious and unknown trauma that is wired into our system. And it teaches practitioners how to work with that body-based energetic system so that we can unwind those old trauma patterns. I love that. I love watching you on this journey. It's been so wonderful to work with you, not only to help you with pivoting, but seeing how, like you said, getting really clear. And that's something that I, I talk to all my clients about and I share all the time is I make people repeat themselves in a little bit different way because as we do that, we realize more and more and get clearer and clearer on what direction we want to go in. And mm -hmm. you, you said something that I always like to emphasize with people. Passion. You're passionate about the work. Laura's not here anymore, but you hurt her. She lives on her, mm -hmm. her understanding of the energy and how that works and what you guys develop together can it's a passion i i'm now having it and I, I my listeners can hear it i think in my voice my energy shifts when i talk about it because it's been so powerful in my own personal healing and so now i'm bringing that into my coaching because again like you said overwhelm decision making when you went through my program and and going through those worksheets for your business planning what experience was it like when you would hit something that that you did have one of those blocks, either feeling a little bit overwhelmed or feeling like, how do I make a decision? What part of, how did you use the transpersonal energy healing process? Because it does come up as entrepreneurs. And that's something that mm -hmm. I, I'm learning more about and I want to share more about is when we hit those blocks, there's a reason. Our nervous system is reacting to something. And so understanding what that something is and being able to really look into that. What, what's been your experience with that? Well, I'm grateful every day for the skills I learned in transpersonal energy healing from Laura and the somatic trauma recovery skills that I've learned. I literally use them every day and especially in my business. It's, I think, the number one important foundational skill for transpersonal energy healing is the capacity to notice what's happening, 
notice what's happening in my body. I'm feeling some anxiety in my body. Being able to slow down and objectively observe what my nervous system is doing, what my thoughts, what are my emotions, what's the sensation in my body, to be able to slow down and and notice what's happening and be able to name what is happening in my system, my emotions, my thoughts. Just in that act alone of observing, objectively observing, like really watching what's happening, would op- it opens up space for me to be more curious and to maybe have enough understanding or awareness that I can make a different choice. So as I feel the discomfort of having a business on my own without a partner, as I feel the discomfort of growing and needing to show up and speak and have an opinion, as I feel that discomfort, I slow down and I pay attention in a different way than I used to because I have these skills now. And I'm able to really look at what is the root of this. I know, Susie, you shared your story of the root of not speaking up. Like you got there because you slowed down and you were curious and you paid attention and your body shares with you what the root is. If we have the right environment, if the right environment is cultivated, then we do have the capacity as human beings to access our inner wisdom, our inner knowing, and we do have access to the capacity to do something different. So this process has helped me have the skill to do it on my own now. I used to do it with Laura and other practitioners guiding me through this process so I could learn how to access my own inner wisdom. And as you access that, you start to realize that you are this amazing creative being that lives in a body. Before we have that understanding, we identify so much with the body and the body holds the trauma patterns. The body holds the defensive mechanisms needed to survive. Because the truth is, it is dangerous in the world because we are vulnerable beings that can die, that we can be injured, we can die. So we are wired physiologically to have a defensive response, fight, flight, or freeze to help us survive. And many people have been overwhelmed enough in early childhood or in their life that it's their their default is the fight or flight survival, the freeze survival mechanism. And we live in these hormones of survival the majority of the time. And we can't be in creative mode and build a business at the same time that we're in fight or flight or freeze. I can agree. I want to interject to that because this is hitting home with me big time. I agree with that so incredibly much because of the work you and I've been doing together that you've been helping me. Like you said, you create create the environment to make it safe. You've been able to coach me and work with me on my own trauma journey. <laughs> I guess healing journey. I'm going to use healing journey. Trauma journey is not a fun one to say. My own healing journey and what I'm realizing that you're helping me is the world's not scary. I was responding to everything in that defensive pattern because it's comfortable. It's what yeah. I've developed for my life. But getting, becoming a little uncomfortable, because I know you and I've worked together and emotions are really hard for me to express, but allowing myself to do that in a safe environment, to be able to let that emotion come up and out and move through my body allows me to see the world in a different perspective. And that's such a big thing, especially as entrepreneurs, because I think going into being an entrepreneur, we're excited, but we're also scared. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big, I'm going to speak to my own experience because it's what I know. The fear is the nervous system, that safety. And so thinking about starting a business put me right into that. I'm not a fighter. I am a fleer. I will flee. <laughs> and I freeze. I'm those two. I'm the two Fs. And and so moving forward was just, I felt impossible. And since I've met you and I've found transpersonal energy healing the modality and understanding it, I actually feel like I'm healing finally. 
I love hearing that. It is incredibly powerful work. And to break it down to the most simplistic explanation of what this is, what this work is, it's really about being able to identify ourselves as these creative beings versus the defended self that is always on hyper alert. I have the capacity to defend myself, but I am a creative being that can create the business that I want, but I can't create the business that I want if my nervous system is stuck in a state of defense. And most of the people on this planet, I would venture to say, are stuck in a pretty constant state of defense without even realizing that we're doing it because it's so familiar. We think it's who we are. For instance, I think it's just who I am that I get overwhelmed. So I shut down and I freeze. Really, that's just something I do to feel safe. So with this work, I've learned I am more than my body. I am an essential self. My essential self, my essential being is this creative being that's capable of so much. But I was more identified with the part of me that was trying to stay safe. And that part was winning. That part was winning my life. And so I saw that not in myself first. I saw that in my clients first and realized, oh, oh my goodness, they are not doing what they want to do because of this unresolved trauma that's living in their body. Then I experienced it myself and had to do my own healing. And now what I want to spread throughout the world is the message, you are more than you think you are. You are more because you are an essential self that's having an experience in the body. And if you can learn to work with your body, you can overcome the overwhelm and you can trust your divine inner wisdom to guide you there. And I got to tell you, honestly, running my business has been such an important part of my process because it forces me to shift my state on a daily basis from my natural overwhelm, I want to go and hide and, you know, to I am a creative being and I am safe. And I can do this. I love that. That's like a perfect way of describing it. And since you're doing things differently now and you've pivoted, what is for those that are listening and are like, okay, this sounds amazing. I want to know more. Like, how do I get access to this? Are there people that that practice this that can help me? Or I want to do this. For me, it was both. I wanted my own inner healing, but also wanted to learn how to be certified in the transpersonal energy healing modality so that I can use that with my clients. How can people find you and and what's what's on the the horizon for mm-hmm. somagetics? It's so fun to say that. Well, you will be able to find us at tehtherapy.com. It stands for transpersonal energy healing, tehtherapy.com. And we are in the next few weeks and months going to be transitioning over to somagetics. Dot net. It is going to be a, an, a very interesting transition. The name of the company is going to shift. The look and feel will shift. But the bottom line is what we do is we help people heal themselves so they can facilitate the healing of others. And so when you enroll in our practitioner training, which will have a new name as well coming up here, but it's currently called the 10 step process or this 10 step system to repattern your life force energy. And it is a combination of of self study and live training where we learn how to do the transpersonal energy healing technique now called somagetics. And it is a process where we practice with each other and we do self healing as we learn the skills 
And then we practice with each other. So we coach other people as we're being coached ourselves. And during the program, you get six one-on-one sessions with a seasoned practitioner of this work. So it really is a self-healing process as you learn these skills and you start to incorporate the skills with your own life, with your close family and friends. And then you learn how to use these skills in your business with your clients. And and like I said, we have all different kinds of students. We have people that are in the financial coaching world. We have people that are doing this that are in the, of course, in the, the natural health and health coaching field. But this really, this work can be done just within your own personal life with your personal relationships. And it can be done pretty much in any business. But the majority of people that come to us are people that are helpers, healers, practitioners, coaches that need some extra skills to help their client get to the next level, like to really go through a deep transformation. And so our program gives practitioners skills to enable their clients to access their own inner healer, to access their own answers, and to be able to identify with that creative being within versus the default set, which is that survival mode. Yeah, that's so awesome. And I can say I'm actually in the program right now, learning from the practitioner's perspective, but also doing my own healing. And you can use it anywhere. I'm using it in my business practice. So entrepreneur coaching, because again, like you've shared, all kinds of things come up when you're an entrepreneur and it's crazy, but, but using it in my personal life, using it in my relationships, a lot of things, everything shifts when we change our perspective, when we stop looking at the world in a defensive mode and start looking at it in a creative mode, which is totally different. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing your personal story and the ways that Not only my program has helped you, but your program is helping me. I think it's beautiful. I love collaborating. I love that I get to be a part of your journey going forward. For those of you listening, if you don't know, Kimberly and I are working together. I will be offering my business coaching services through the student portal that she has for her students as well. So it's just a beautiful thing. I love it. Is there anything else that you want to share before we go? I'm just so excited to have the opportunity to share what transpersonal energy healing is and how useful it is for people in their personal lives, but also how it can be used so efficiently in your own business and with your clients. I'm just so excited to be able to bring this information to the world because I think the world needs some of these very simple skills to help us shift from that state of defense to that state of creation. And I feel like it's just an amazing, divinely orchestrated thing that we got together, Susie, because you bring a piece that that my students need as they build their business. And for you to be able to work through this material and see a difference in your own life is just a testimony to uh, the work itself. So I'm so glad you're joining us to help our students have some of the skills that they need to build a business so that they can reach more people so that we can make a big difference in this world with this work. So thank you for for being part of that, Susie, and giving me the opportunity to share today with your with your audience. Yeah. And thank you. I'm excited to use this in my own business because it's such a powerful thing. And I'm excited to see the shifts that people get to make as they're working with me to build their own business. Um, thank you so much for being here. And For the listeners out there, as always, keep it simple. Thank you for listening to this episode of Starting a Business Simplified. As we talked about in this episode, if you would like to learn more about transpersonal energy healing, you can attend the Exceptional Practitioner Workshop that will be happening on June 24th. You can get access to this free workshop in the show notes by clicking on the link. This workshop is going to include what makes a practitioner exceptional, what are the specific skills and attributes of the very best coaches, healers, and therapists. Join us for this free workshop to find out.